Somebody said, when I enter into his gates with thanksgiving, I thank him because I didn't have to be here. I thank him because I'm still in my right frame of mind. I thank him because I still got activities of my limbs. So I owe him a praise. We thank God, amen, for the spirit of the Lord that's in this house. Amen. We thank God again, amen, for Apostle Jerome King. Amen. We thank God for First Lady Evangelist Ann King. Amen. We thank God, amen, for you, you, and you. Amen. God, now robbery to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord, but while you're sitting, I just need you to turn to a few portion of scriptures this morning. If you have your Bible, turn with me to the book of Zechariah, chapter 9. And when you have that, switch over to the New Testament, the book of Luke, chapter 19. And we'll pick it up from verses 28 to 34. Whatever you're going through this morning, know that God is still on the throne. When you have it, say amen. Zechariah chapter 9, verse 9 says, Rejoice greatly, O daughters of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, thy king cometh unto thee. He is just in having salvation, lowly and riding upon a donkey, and upon a coat the foal of a donkey. Turn with me to Luke chapter 19, verses 28 to 34. When you have it, say amen. I feel good this morning. I don't know about you, but I feel good this morning. Verses 28 reads, And when he had thus spoken, he went before, ascending up to Jerusalem. And it came to pass when he was come nigh to Bethpage in Bethany, at the mount called the Mount of Olives. He sent two of his disciples, saying, Go ye into the village over against you, in the which at your entering ye shall find a coat tied, whereunto yet never a man sat loose him, and bring him hither. And if any man asks you why do ye you loose him, Thus shall ye say unto him, because the Lord have need of him. And they that were sent went their way and found even as he had said unto them. 
And as they were loosing the coat, the owner thereof said unto them, Why loose ye the coat? Verse 34 says, And they said, The Lord hath need of him. If I wanted to draw your attention this morning, I would leave these few words with you. The Lord need it. Uh, Zechariah contained, when you read it, it contained clearest in the Messiah in that passage among the minor prophets. Amen. In chapter 9, he pictured Christ in his coming, first and second coming. According to Zechariah, Christ is coming as a righteous king. Ruling his people from Jerusalem. Amen. Zechariah, when you read the book and you study it, his name means Yahweh remembers. In other words, whatever you're going through, know that God didn't bring you this far to forget about you. Amen. He, in his book, he bring over with, he, he spring hope, a hope that God would remember his promise to his people. Amen. His people, he's talking about the children of Israel. Amen. That has always, amen, turned their back on God. Amen. Knowing, amen, how God even brought them over. Amen. They still, amen, find themselves turning back to worship other God. But God still remember them. Amen. He promises people. The prophet used simple structures in this book. Amen. He uses simple structures. And when you read Zechariah, you'll find he has a vision in that book. Amen. In Zechariah 1 and 1, he stated that I lifted up my eyes. Again, and looked and behold a man with a measuring line in his hand. Amen. In chapter 6, verse 15, he states that they that are far off shall come and build in the temple of the Lord. And ye shall know that the Lord of hosts have sent him unto you, and he shall come to pass. In other words, whatever the Lord has promised and whatever he has stated that he will do, he will do. Word. Sometimes we look at times and we try to figure out why it hasn't happened yet. And the Lord has spoken it, and I know His promise to me, Amen. That what He has done, but I'm still waiting. Do the Lord remember? But you must understand now, for you to be in that place, uh, to be, Amen, in uh, a place with God. Amen. We'll remember you and we'll, amen, do the things that you look for him to do. Amen. You must follow some instruction. Amen. It doesn't come overnight. It doesn't come by, amen, you doing, amen, whatever you want to do and however you want to do it. Amen. When you read, amen, in the book of Luke, amen, chapter 19, amen, understand that. Jesus did not come when he came as a military king. Amen. Jerusalem, amen. The Jews was looking for a king, amen, to come riding, amen, on a horse, amen. They was looking for an earthly king. But amen, Jesus showed up, amen, on a coat, amen, humble. He came, amen, to bring peace. That's why he said, peace I give unto you. Amen. Zechariah, amen, then records when he says, Rejoice greatly, O daughters of Zion. Shout, daughters of Jerusalem. See your king come, amen, to you righteous and having salvation and riding on a donkey. Amen. He had been prophesied, amen, but the people did not recognize the sign that Jesus was, amen, truly king. But not the type that they had expected. They're looking, amen, for somebody that looked good, amen. In our day and age, they probably be looking, amen, for a pastor to pop up on a Bentley or, amen, uh, S550 or, amen, a Burgundy or something. But Jesus, amen, had all, 
amen, access to whatever he wanted to. But he had to show the world that he had to come humble, amen, before a people. So that way, that way we, when we take, amen, that, amen, that, Config that figure of God, of Jesus Christ, amen, we don't go over ourselves, but stay humble, amen, the Lord needed, here we find Jesus had approached, amen, Jerusalem, he asked the disciples to go to the nearby village, amen, where they would find a cloak, in other words, amen, they were instructed, amen, to untie it and bring it. Amen. They didn't ask no question, uh, who my mind going to see and who do I say sent me or what do I do? He said, just go and do it. That leaves us, amen, with the instruction. If the Lord said, do it, just do it. Amen. Just do, amen, what the Lord tell you to do. Amen. It's the word now that we find, amen, that you out to obey God and keep his commandment. Amen. Jesus, amen, asked them to tell them, amen, if anybody asks you, amen, tell them that the Lord need him. Amen. Interesting that how, amen, Jesus, amen, can be God and men in the flesh, amen, and has, amen, to in the need of something. But let me straighten the record out. Jesus don't need anything from nobody. Amen. He owned the cattle upon a thousand hills. The Bible said that the earth is the Lord in the fullness thereof and all that dwell therein. Amen. It's another word. The Lord don't need anything from you. Amen. If anything, we need something from God. That's why we have to always, all the time, acknowledge him for who he is. Amen. Amen. We have to acknowledge, amen, that God is sovereign. Amen. That God is peace. Amen. God is all self-sufficient. Amen. God don't need your money. God don't need your ties. Amen. In other words, he don't need you to bring him anything. And he can do it all by himself. But at the end of the day, he gave you a promise. He said, bring it into the storehouse that there may be beat. Amen. So another word that the gospel can go forth. Amen. Another word, what you do is what when you give, amen, there's some people, amen, that you cannot reach to, but amen, that the apostle is able to reach to and give a blessing. Amen. Sometimes we're not even thinking about blessing nobody on the other side. But amen, God had made it a way, amen, even you giving, amen, he gives you a promise that amen, you'll never go without. Amen. Another word, all you got to do is obey God. Amen. Don't listen, amen, to no man, but listen to God. God is, amen, the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. I believe now, amen, we find ourselves, amen, that sometimes we think, amen, we owe something, amen, that God owe us something, but God don't owe us anything. Amen. I'm reminded now, amen, that there is some people in the Bible, Amen. They didn't have no problem giving. Amen. When you read the story about Elkanah, amen, she gave her son Samuel before he was even born. Amen. She gave him unto the Lord. Amen. In other words, she wasn't selfish. Amen. He became a great judge. Amen. In Israel. Amen. Now we find sometimes we think. Amen. That God has blessed us. Amen. We ready, amen, to put God on the back burner. But I stopped by here this morning to let you know. Amen. That God, amen, needs it. In other words, God needs you, amen, to, amen, expound on his word. God needs you to go on the highways and the byways. God needs you to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. God needs you to be kind to one another. God needs you, amen, to love him, amen, like nothing bows. God don't want you to put nothing before him. God is looking for you, amen, to give him praise in the glory. God, amen, is not looking for, amen, no pity pack from you. In other words, God, amen, is 
omniscience. God is all God all by himself. God is a big God. He don't need nobody else. He can do all things all by himself. You are the counted joy. Amen. That he sent his only begotten son. Amen. That you might be saved. You are the counted joy. That amen. He went that far. Amen. Now you find this is the time now. Amen. This is amen. He's coming into the end of his ministry. Amen. He started the ministry at the age of 30. Amen. You see he opened the blind eyes. Amen. You see he healed the sick. Amen. You see the dumb Amen. Rise. The deaf ears. Amen. He even went as far. And he raised a man from the dead. But now he come the time now. Amen. Everybody's looking for a great king. But this morning I stopped by to tell you. Amen. You ought to give him praise. Like they were singing Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You ought to up your voice and amen and say oh Santa I thank you for coming through I thank you for coming through I thank you for dying on the cross amen he still had time let me show you how God how faithful God is amen now between now and the crucifixion he had time to change his mind but he had you and I on his mind Oh, good Lord God. Amen. So he said this day, I'm going to go all the way. Amen. If I die, I'll die for the Lord. If I go now, the Bible says, Amen. In all ways, somebody say, Who shall I send? Somebody says, Send me, Lord. Everybody who want to go, are you ready to go now? The time is now. The Bible says the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. Violence taken by force. It's time now to go to the churches because the Lord needs it. He just needs you to tell somebody that Jesus saved. Don't keep it to yourself. This great salvation. How can I escape? This thing has been too good. What must now? I render to the Lord for all his benefits that he has bestowed upon me now. I believe it was the Apostle Paul. He said, I'm in debit to this thing because God, he stepped in my life when I was on my way to a devil's hell, sinking in my sin. That's the purpose of the poem. I was sinking in my sin. I was going to die. But God, he saw it fit. The Bible said, for God so loved the world that he sinned. His only begotten son, whosoever believe in him now, do you believe that the sun has came, the sun has shined, the sun has saved your soul? Good Lord God, yes Lord, I believe God deep down in my soul. This is the time now. That's the time. Don't look for nobody. Don't look for a great king. That's what Israel was doing. But they passed him by. Jesus came through. He's coming through right now. But you're waiting for a special beat. I wouldn't wait. I will bless the Lord at all times. I praise him now. I praise him in the new day. I praise him in the morning. I praise him. Praise is what I do. Praise is what I do. 
I lift them up. I give them glory. Yes, Lord. The Lord need it. Not that he need anything. Nothing from you. You ought to give him praise. Because he thought about you. You ought to thank God. He thought about you. Don't stand there and pity back God. Like you're giving him favor. Favor is God. His name is Favor. Because what he does. Oh Lord. If it wasn't for the favor of God. Where would we be? Evil says, Eight now, faith. Yes, Lord. The Lord need it. Yes, He does. Yes, He does. He need it. All I need you to do is go down. Go down now. If they ask you, just tell him the Lord need it. When you go to the churches, when they ask you, who sent you? Say the Lord, mighty God, all-knowing God. He sent me to tell you that he saved, he delivered. Yes, he does. Yes, God. Oh, Lord, Jesus. The Bible says, Yes, Lord, you're looking for a man with mighty words. You're looking for a man with big words. You're looking for a man with wide chest. But you missed it. Jesus said, yes, he did. The apostle Paul said, I didn't come with words of excellency. I don't know, but I come with power. And a demonstration of the Holy Ghost. That's all I know. That's all I got. That's all I need. All I need is his name. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? The Lord. The Lord. The Lord. Strong. Strong. And mighty. And power. The Lord needs it. All you got to do is open your mouth and tell him God say, deliverance is in the house. 